I got a past blue ribbon. They went back to the regular can, just a big old ribbon on it. None of that weird shit they were doing there for a while. Ugh. Damn, it's good. Ugh. That's tasty. I need to amp my character up. I need to get crazier, and that's how I get more views. Let's go wild. I need to, like, uh, smash a bottle over my head or something. I need to amp up. Get wild. No, I'm not going to do any of that. I'm just going to be myself. <sighs> Hope you all had a good week. Uh, it was my first week playing Dangers at Locals. been playing them online for a while. You don't really get good testing online. Let's face it, online testing is pretty bad. Went to Locals. Uh, topped, which doesn't say much, it's just a local tournament, but yeah, it was good. Uh, I, I'm working still on Dangers and uh, got a deck profile that may already be up or may be coming. I don't know yet. <laughs> I gotta find time to do it. But anyways, guys, hope you've been enjoying Cybernetic Horizon. Supposedly one of the worst sets ever, but it's got Danger in it, and the Miracle of 2018 is what I'm calling it, because now my Dark Worlds are playable again. And that felt great. Anyways, I got a sponsor I think y'all really gonna enjoy. Give me $25 to uh, help pay for these packs, pay for the lighting, help me out. I'm Lucky Lance, by the way, of leader of Team Last Best Hope, whatever that is. I think some of this beer went inside my nose. I'm all right. I'm gonna be okay. Just a little excited and amped up. Uh, my sponsor today is someone I think that you're all really gonna enjoy. Folks, are you needing a pet? Are you alone? Do you not have a girlfriend or a boyfriend or a, or you don't have you've gotten tired of talking to stuffed animals? Maybe you look at that picture of Farrah Fawcett and realize she's been dead for almost ten years and probably most of you don't know who the hell that is. Go ahead and Wikipedia that right now, Farrah Fawcett. And uh <clears throat> Well, what you need is a dog. I own two dogs myself. Uh, I got an American Cocker Spaniel and a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Uh, both of my girlfriends, but they're mine now because we're together and, you know, we really get along and things are going really well between us. Hopefully forever. That's the way I'd like it. But anyways, I got a sponsor to help you out with your loneliness. Get yourself a canine companion from none other than Ravensdale's Dog Dude. Dog Dude! Yeah, he comes on by comes out of the mountains, he lives even deeper in the mountains than I do, comes on out of the mountains with his flatbed truck with nothing but dogs in cages, bungee corded to the back of the flatbed, and I'm talking about every sort of dog you can think of. Big, small, fat, fast, slow, lap dogs, giant dogs, guard dogs, attack dogs, you know, whatever kind of dog you want, he's got. And, uh, just to let you all know, he is not a Russian. This being the dog dude sounds like something a Russian would do. And he's also, I'm sure some of you are questioning his business practices because he's got all these dogs bungee corded to the bottom, I mean the back of his uh, flatbed truck. You may be thinking he's some sort of like strange marauding night rover. He is not. He's just a businessman. Capitalism at its best. Um, so sometimes I see him drive past, you know, here and furs flying, furs going everywhere. You know, it's messy being the dog dude. And, uh, you know, he uh, just has quality ass dogs. I'm telling you, I, I, if not for him, I mean, if I didn't have control, I'd have like 50 dogs of him. Fine, healthy animals on the back of his flatbed. And you can catch him down at the beer mart or the parking lot of Big Lots in Covington sometimes. But, um... Uh, you don't know, you just got to drive past those places all the time because he doesn't have a schedule or nothing. Maybe you can call the beer mart ahead of schedule and ask when dog dude's showing up and they'll give you a rough estimate of what day and what time he's showing up. But he doesn't have a set schedule. He just comes out of the woods when he feels like with all his dogs. You know, dog dude. So thanks, dog dude, for $25. Really appreciate that. And that's one hell of a sponsor right there. That's, that's one of my best sponsors I've ever had in my life. I'm watching my dog right now. What the hell you doing, dog? It's just like digging. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's fine. It just. Oh. It's going a little crazy. I don't. It's going to be alright. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that last video. <laughs> 
Man, was that a long one? Well, I figured why not do another long one? Let's just do one more. One more long ass video because guess what? I got another one of these boxes. Look at that. You're like, oh, fuck no. He's got another one that can't be. That can't. It says 100. Quantity 100. What is this? Well, it's right here. Dimension of Chaos. The One of my favorite sets just because it has Cosmic Dark Destroyer in it. Yep, we got 100 packs again of Dimension of Chaos. Well, last time was Clash of Rebellion, but Dimension of Chaos, 100 packs. This is a regional sneak peek box. So it's supposed to be a little hotter than normal than a regular if you just bought three, four boxes. So we'll put that to theory here, put that in testing, give the old college try. They're all first dead. Uh, yeah, you can see the first dead. And uh, I'm real excited because there's a lot of good cards still in Dimension of Chaos. Um, I mentioned Dark Destroyer, which is not 150 bucks anymore. Uh, I'd love to get the Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend Ghost. See if I can pull a Ghost. I wasn't able to pull a Ghost. I only got one Ultimate out of the Clash of Rebellion. See if I can do better than that. Uh, some good Ultimates I'd like to get are uh, Blacklister Soldier, Super Soldier, uh, Vortex Dragon, Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon, I think it's his full name, Mr. Odd Eyes full Vortex Dragon. Um, the Scarlet, but I'd like to get the Ghost more. Seems like I'm forgetting one. There's the Blackwing that's an ultimate. Uh, good super rare in this is the uh, uh, Gateway to Chaos, which I just saw. I think I think t it's getting a secret reprint, but there's a lot of purists out there kind of like me who like the original printing more. I, 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 I always try to get the original printing unless it's like obvious that there's something better. And I don't really like the new reprints they do of older cards because they have that weird glittery stuff on the attribute and stuff, and it just looks cheap. Like... It looks cool on the new cards, but when it's an old classic card, which I can't believe Dimension Chaos is old and classic now, it doesn't look as good to me. I, I just don't like it. Um, Gamma Seals are rares in here, and like I said, Dark Destroyers in here. And I'll see if I pull if I pull anything else. I'll be like, God damn! But that's the main ones we're looking. Oh, Blazing Mirror Forces in here. I got the Mirror Force families in these all these sets. So, anyways, guys, I'm really pumped. I'm really excited. I'm amped up. I'm ready. I'm going to head over yonder. We're going to open this. I'm going to try to make this video a little bit faster. I'm not going to just go over all the comments constantly. I'm going to try and do a little bit better job on this one. That, that 100 pack's grueling. So, hope you're all ready. Hope you got a beverage in your hand. Hope you're sitting down. And I hope you're just prepared for this marathon. Watch this video in parts if you have to. I'm not going to cut it up. I don't like that. That makes me look like a money whore or something. Like, I don't get ad revenue from these videos. I just do it out of the kindness of my own heart and entertain everybody and catch my own reactions to this bullshit. But uh, really hoping that um, everybody uh, enjoys this, gets educated, and most of all, we all help each other and get drunk! Ah, let's get on in here. Here we go. 100 packs. Open up this glory. Stay open, box. There we go. 100 packs of Dimension of Chaos. Well, I just grab them randomly out of here. See what I can pull. All right. Dimension of Chaos. Woo! All right. Let's see what we can get here. Uh, Kunai the Drizzle and immediately an Ultra Rare. This is not the ultimate of that. Oh, Fluffle Wings is in here? Fuck. God, Plush Fire. This is still banned, right? So busted. Stupid ass Plush Fire. It's so weird looking. It's like a... It's like a snow cone, like, stuffed animal. Like, it's happening. It's on fire. All right. Got a uh, Salt Black Wing, Rakiri the Rain Shower. Uh, I love the ultimate rare of this card, but this is the ultra. Uh, this card is... Is Synchro Summon using a Blackwing monster as material? It is treated as a tuner monster while face up on the field. Once per game, you can target cards your opponent controls up the number of other Blackwing monsters you control, destroy them. Pretty good for Blackwings. Blackwings always seems to get decent support, you know? I mean, I shouldn't say decent because I don't play Blackwings, but every time I read their card, I'm like, that ain't bad. There was one Blackwing Synchro monster around this time that people were using. I think it was Nathung, wasn't it? Was that its name? Uh, Super Soldier Soul, Shuffle Reborn, actually saw play later on around Raging Tempest for Zodiac, how about that? Samurai Drum, and Radiant, the Multidimensional Kaiju. Oh, and I got a Beginning Knight. Here we go. The Beginning, I don't think, by the way, I don't think, Ra I think Raiden's one of the last ones that's not a super rare for the Kaijus, along with the Mecha one, which nobody wants the Mecha one. Alright, Beginning Knight, a Black Luster... Soldier Monster Ritual Summon using this card gains these effects. You only use this effect at beginning night once per turn. 
Once per turn, you can target one monster your opponent controls. Banish it. Nice. When this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can activate this effect. This card can make it a second attack in a row. When this card is banished from the graveyard, you can add one ritual spell card from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect at beginning night once per turn. So basically, it's just got it's got the effects of uh, BLS Envoy of the beginning. What? Well, it's got a text here. Uh, uh, don't worry about it, folks. I thought maybe it was dog dude, but it was not. It's just my dad asking me uh, questions about the Seahawks, which we got a whole shit ton of Seahawk tickets today. Uh, Gradles are in here. Oh, I'm gonna get Gradle Dragon. That's a good, cool card. Contract Laundering, huh? Uh, Oblivion King, Abyss Ragnarok. Man, Necro Slimes in here, nice. Didn't one of them get a super rare reprint? Well, there's Necro Slime, and then there's regular Slime. Oh, here's Wicked Witch, nice. This this card's so good for a common. Like back when this card first came out, people couldn't get around this thing. Pay a thousand life points, can't be destroyed this turn. Mirror Conductor, Shuffle Reborn, Death Spot Six. Rank up, oh, there we go. Gateway to Chaos. That's an expensive ass. Super rare. All right, let me read it here. When this card is activated, add one Black Luster Soldier Ritual Monster or one Guy of the Fierce Night Monster from your deck to your hand. Each time a monster card is sent from the hand or field to the graveyard, place one spell counter on this card for each of those cards, max six. Once per turn, you can remove three spell counters. From this card, add one ritual card from your deck to your hand. You're going to activate one gateway of chaos per turn. Gateway to chaos, my bad. Uh, nobody use it for that. People are using it for set rotation, which is limited, so I'm really surprised this card still sees so much so much use. You know, like why it's still expensive, why it demanded a reprint. Uh, interesting. Six. Uh, got headlong. Samurai Calvary of Reptir. I believe this was the sneak peek card. Nasty plush fire. Oh, Bambuco's in here. If I get a Bambuco, I'm going to be really sad because Bambuco at one point was like, for months, was like $70. Now I think he's worth like two bucks. And he's super cute. He's one of the cutest monsters ever. He's got like a weird face. He's uh, fat. Uh, Despot 6, Gradle Split. Oh, man. This card, when this card came out, so Kieran's one of the most busted monsters I remember in recent time. When this card came out, it was terrible because Cosmo was so good. This card was awful. And then when Cosmo started going away, this card really started to shine. So, Kieran is also banned. Thank Christ. I remember it was at one, and I, I, I mean, they just add the hand all the damn time. So it was like useless being at one. So we got here two supers and an ultra so far. Uh, Swirl Slime, Gradle Cobra. There's another Ignite. Splash Mammoth. <laughs> A lot of dark contracts. They, they gave us that DDD D deck way too late. Like, they, they moved it back to bring Blue Eyes forward, I think. Something like that happened. I don't really remember the reasoning. Swamp King, QB, Soul, another Kieran. Another Beginning Knight. Two of these little guys. Uh, Gradle Eagle. A Morphage is in the, the couple sets after this, right? Yeah, that's Shining Victories. All right, time to read all this text again. It's part of what I do. A Black Luster Soldier Monster Ritual Summon using this card gains these effects. You can only use this effect of Beginning Night once per turn. Once per turn, you can target one monster your opponent controls. Banish it. When this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can activate this effect. This card can make a second attack in a row. If this card is banished from the graveyard, you can add one ritual spell card from your deck to your hand. You can only use the effect of beginning night once per turn. What's the other one? The, the light one. It's a super rare in this set, too. I guess I'll know when I find it. Savant Keeper. This is another staple of DD. Wicked, getting a lot of Wicked Witch. Assault Blackwing, Kunai the Drizzle. And there is an ultra rare... Black Luster Soldier, Super Soldier. I really like his artwork. I really do. I think it's really cool looking. Um, yeah, that's a good looking monster. 
Uh, you can ritual summon this card with Super Soldier Ritual. This card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard. Inflict damage to your opponent equal to its attack in the graveyard. This card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, or if this card is in possession, it's destroyed by an opponent's card effect and sent to the graveyard. You can special summon one guy of the Fierce Knight monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard. You can only special summon Black Luster Soldiers, Super Soldiers, once per turn. So you can do more than one at the same time. It's kind of like, I think, Revenge Slayers that way. At our local regionals, Seattle and Spokane, uh, there was a guy who played Black Luster Soldier deck for like two years, and he was always doing relatively well. He never topped. I don't think he ever got an invite. But he's always on the cusp, and I was always impressed by that. He must have had one hell of a deck or something to always be up there with the, the meta at the time, because Black Luster Soldier had never been good, but I was impressed. I was really impressed by his dedication to the deck. That's what impressed me the most. He must really love BLS. What is this? Super Rush Headlong? <laughs> Look at how ridiculous. Man, this monster here, King of All Beasts, I think it is, has been so fucked up all the time. I mean, it's always getting destroyed. Uh, Abyss King Ragnarok. Painful Decision Secret Rare. Was this a TCG exclusive? It couldn't have been, right? I don't think it was. That's our first secret rare. Painful decision. This card was really expensive when Metal Foes came out. This card did nothing until Metal Foes showed up. Uh, send one level four, a lower monster, lower normal monster from your deck to the graveyard. And if you do, add one card with the same name as that card from your deck to your hand. You can only activate one painful decision per turn. A funny story about Metal Foes in this is I remember people playing this card and sending the level seven normal Metal Foe monster, what, Volum or something. The big guy in the tank. I'm like, dude, you can't send that. Like, it's a normal monster. I'm like, it has to be level four or lower. You can't be sending the level seven. But yeah, that card's hella good for metal foes. Uh, Soul Claw, Paw the Forbidden. Let's see how many of these cards are still forbidden. Okay, this is a cool card, really. Draw two cards. That's Pot of Greed. That's still banned. Return all spell and trap cards on the field of the hand. Uh, that's Giant True Nade. That's still banned. Destroy all monster opponent controls. Regeki. That's no longer banned. Look at your opponent's hand. Also shuffle one card from their hand in from their hand into the deck. What is that? Um, that's not quite the same. I think that's supposed to be forceful sentry. That's still banned. So three of the four are still banned. Good, good job. Gamma seal the sea turtle. Nice. Not oh, and a great old parasite. That's, I'm gonna put gamma seal up here. That's a good rare. And great old parasite up here too. Uh, let's see. Fright for March. Don't want to look at that. Uh, I'm just going to read the Great Old Parasite. Because Gamma Seal, you just tribute over your opponent's monsters. You just stick a turtle on them. You know how many monsters, different monsters, I've stuck a turtle over on? Like, my most favorite one to do is Masterpiece, which I can't do anymore, thank God. What monster is this? That's getting sucked up. Is that a monster? I, I, I gotta look that up. That's probably some pretty good trivia there. Uh, when an opponent's monster declares a direct attack, you can spell summon one Gradle monster from your deck in attack position if you control no monsters. When a Gradle monster you control declares a direct attack, you can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard spell summon that target to their side of the field if they control no monsters. Okay. You can only use each effect of Gradle Parasite once per turn. That's not a bad card at all for Gradle. Anytime, it's special, anytime a, a card special summons a monster from the deck, you gotta pay attention. You gotta check that out. You gotta be like, damn, what's going on here? All right. So ultimates are a lot harder to pull than I remembered. <laughs> uh, there's Swirl Slime. Uh, another Unicorn. Gate. Terrible Light Sword. I forgot how many Ignites. This is the only girl one. Pink, pink Ignite. Yeah, her troops. I thought for sure it, it said it was a girl. I guess in Power Rangers. I haven't watched Power Rangers since like 1998. At least the, the, the show. I think I rewatched the first movie. Um, and I went and saw the newest movie, which was way worse than the first movie. Uh, I, I heard that some of the Pink Rangers are actually boys now. Um, so here's another Ignite. Which is weird to me. Second Donkey. Another painful decision. Two painful decisions. 100 pack box. Hang on, my phone's blowing up again. God damn, what's going on here? I don't know what my dad just sent me another text. He wanted to clear. He instead of saying text message, he wrote email, 
and now he just sent me a text message saying he did not mean to send email. Like, I didn't know what he meant when he said email. I know he's old. He's not that old. He's like 52. He had me really young because I'm 29, so do the math there. You can figure he was barely 23. All right, send one level four, a lower normal monster from your deck to the graveyard. And if you do add one card with the same name as that card from your deck to your hand, you only activate one painful decision per turn. Imagine if it did not say normal monster, how insane, like how fucking insane that card would be. Like it'd be like in almost every deck. They'd have to like ban that thing. Like be stupid. Great old Cobra. Disappointed. Cobra spelled with a C, not with a K. Mortal Kombat had Cobra, didn't they, with a K? Yeah, he sucked. Wild Vulture. I don't remember this Raid Raptor at all. Psychic Blade, skilled Red Magician, and an upside down ultimate Black Luster Soldier, Super Soldier. I was like, is, wait a minute, is that ultimate? Yes, it is. Man, a lot of Gradle cards in that pack. I got three of the four monsters. <laughs> uh, Black Luster Soldier, Super Soldier. God, my phone is just exploding in my pants. Uh, ultimate Rare, fucking nice. That is a beautiful Ultimate Rare. That is one of my favorites they ever made. What a great card to pick. Uh, you can Ritual Summon this card with Super Soldier Ritual. If this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and send it to the graveyard, inflict damage to your opponent equal to its attack in the graveyard. If this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, or if this card in your possession is destroyed by an opponent's card effect and sent to your graveyard, you can Special Summon one Gaia the Fierce Knight monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard. You can only Special Summon Black Luster Soldiers Super Soldiers once per turn. Fuck yeah. I love getting ultimates because you just don't get them anymore. I mean, they just, they literally don't exist. And, uh, just still going here. Still going. I mean, you can get ultimates out of OTS packs. I have a great idea for OTS packs. I really think that they should continue the three ultimate rares. That's cool. But they should also put a ghost rare in there. It's a different card. Giant Pearfish. What the fuck? Oh, and another ultimate rare! A Magester Paladin, the Ascending Draco Slayer. That was expensive back in the day. Not anymore. Oh, here's Majestic Tempest. That's a good card for Magister. Majester Paladin, the Ascending Draco Slayer. That's a sick... I forgot this came as an ultimate. Two level four Pendulum Monsters. When this card is XYZ summon, you can add one Pendulum Monster from your deck to your hand during the end phase of this turn. Once per turn, you can detach one XYZ control from this card. Special summon one face-up Draco Slayer Pendulum Monster from your extra deck, but it cannot be used as XYZ material for a summon. That, that's pretty bad with the Link era now that we're in the Links, and I, I can't imagine that being played. Um, I, good luck. Uh, let me know if you figure it out. I'll be impressed, I guess. Mage Spectre Storm. Super Soldier Soul, uh, Samurai Thief, Burfomet. Where DD got their own Burfomet? But I guess they deserve one. Sure, why not? Ah. Alright, still going here. Another Unicorn, my god, or Kieran, I guess. Well, it is Unicorn Kieran. Man, that monster just, just was devastating. Just, unless you were playing Cosmo, there was like no way to get around that thing. Uh, Mirror Conductor, Swirl Slime, Pendulum Area. It's weird seeing all these Pendulum cards and hardly anyone Pendulum summons anymore. I mean, I guess it got second place at U.S. Nationals, right? Is that what I heard? It lost, though, to, uh, what did it lose to? Goki? Goki's probably going to win Worlds, because that's the only... Uh, deck that's untouched by both ban list. Abyss King Ragnarok. So, it is kind of neat at my locals. Uh, there are dedicated players, even though the Blackluster Soldier guy did not come from my locals, but obviously he was in Washington State, because he was at every regional for a few years. And I always noticed him, because he's always playing um, BLS. Alright, Giant Pearfish and a super rare Mage Spectre Cat Nikomata. These, man, that dog. What, what's going on, dog? Gonna be alright? Need dog dude to come check you out? Alright, uh, Nico Mata. So they have no pendulum effect. They all have this monster effect. So when this card is normal or special summon, you can add one Mage Spectre card from your deck to your hand during the end phase of this turn. You can only use this effect of Mage Spectre Cat Nico Mata once per turn. Cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Pretty good. I can't believe they've made that an actual thing. Well, I guess they did with, with Cosmo, am I thinking? 
course that would be the way. Whew. Just getting started here, folks. Still going Sphere Karibo. Whenever I look for Ross, Assault, Ross, Raw Sphere Mode, this monster always comes up. And a Vector Pendulum, the Draco Overlord. I forgot about this monster, too. Lot of super rares. Man, I gotta... Something's going wrong here. Whatever. Alright, negate all the card effects in your opponent's Pendulum Zone. It's pretty good. Uh, it's Flavor Text. This is a normal Pendulum Monster. This Overlord overran into higher world with his army of Draco Fiends, using his Dragon Alchemy to convert all life into his terrible minions. The source of this power is unidentified and probably extra-dimensional. That sounds badass. Wish I had extra-dimensional powers. I might actually win the Lotto. I always play Lotto and I never... I got a $30 win, which is really good. I was really happy because I've never won more than like three bucks. And I had a, I had matched four of the six numbers and got $30. And I was like shocked. I like stared at that for a while. I'm like, what? Four of the six? If I had one more, I would have got a thousand. Gradle Slime. Remember in Ghostbusters? He slimed me. That's classic now. Ghostbusters, 1984. Uh, what other movies were 1984? Indiana Jones, Temple of Doom, Rank Up Magic, Raid Force. Uh, that was not a movie in 1984. Uh, and Beverly Hills Cop. The first one was 84. Uh, another year I like, 87 has Robocop. Um, oh, 84 also had the Terminator. How could I forget that? 87 had Robocop over the top. And... Uh, Predator. Uh, Raiden? Or is it something else? Oh, that's Raiden, just with an A. Isn't Raiden from Mortal Kombat? Is that how you spell Raiden from Mortal Kombat and, and Metal Gear? Or is it Raiden? Don't they call Raiden from Metal Gear something different? Like, like I can't remember. Pendulum Area? Grand Horn of Heaven. This card actually saw quite a bit of play when it first came out. Believe it or not, as dumb as a common as it is. Back then, back then, the game was slow, even though I felt it was, like, rocket fucking fast. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, Raiden. I can't remember how they pronounce his name. I just call him Raiden. Uh, Wild Vulture, Contact Change, Toon Barrel Dragon, because you need the Toon Barrel Dragon. Stupid-ass Fluffle Wings. They do, like, a combo where they use, like, Toy Vendor and Fluffle Wings to draw two cards and add a card to hand. It's like, what the fuck? It's like, that's stupid. Thief, Wicked Witch, Mirror Conductor, Splash Mammoth. Kind of got like Mo from uh, Three Stooges hair. Alright. Uh, Help Princess. I don't remember that car being in here until I just looked at it. Because Help Princess, because everybody and their fucking mom played that, right? Oh, fuck. Oh, don't fail me now, box. I don't want to pull you out of the box yet. We're not there yet. We're not there. I don't know how many I got left, but... Oh, another Gamma Seal. That's going in the pile. That's a good one. Oh, my God. I forgot about Dark Dr. Frankenderp. <laughs> Jesus. Can you imagine some Japanese guy coming up with that? Like, hi-ha. Just coming up with Dr. Frankenderp. He probably got fired. They probably let him go. He probably designed great monsters before that, too. Uh, Savin Keeper, Wave King Caesar. Oh, I got back-to-back -back DDD monsters. I got uh, Duo Don King Kali Yuga. Which I can't remember. Isn't Kali Yuga... Oh, is that Poison from the Old Man? Or whatever? I can't remember. Uh, Kali Yuga is a real thing, isn't it? It's like something from like Hinduism or something. I just don't remember. Uh, okay, two level eight DDD monsters. After this card is you summoned for the rest of this turn, other cards and their effects cannot be activated on the field, and other card effects on the field are negated. Once per turn during either player's turn, you can detach one XYZ material from this card. Destroy all spell trap cards on the field. You can detach one XYZ material from this card, then target one dark contract spell trap card in your graveyard. Set that target. Uh, pretty good monster. I, I really like that monster for him, but I don't know if anyone played it. Again, I never played the deck, I just read their cards. And I'm like, huh, that sounds good. Run three. <laughs> Even in the extra deck, put three of those in. It's like Dante. You could run four, you put four in. Uh, Super Soldier Soul. 
Fiend Eagle and a Gradle Dragon Super Rare. Nice. Nice. Gradle Dragon. It's an Aqua, not a Dragon, by the way. It's one of those weird monsters where they do that. It's got uh, it's got all of them. It's got Slime, Cobra, Alligator, and Eagle. I think that's all of them. Pretty sure. Uh, when this card is Synchro Summoned, you can target cards your opponent controls up to the number of water monsters used for Synchro Summon of this card. Destroy them. If this card is destroyed by Battle Card Vane, it's into the graveyard. You can target one other water monster in your graveyard. Special we'll Summon it, but its effects are negated. You can only use each effect of Gradle Dragon once per turn. You can use both in the same turn, though, folks. Boom, boom. Boom. Boom, may have to start a second pile coming here, and I'm, I mean, this is pretty hot. I'm getting a lot of supers. Uh, Super Ray Samurai Soul Claw, and Raid Raptor Force, <laughs> Tempest. I'm, like, trying to, like, read the cards as I'm, like, throwing them down. I'm like, what? Some of these cards I don't remember. I mean, I remember them once I see them, but it's like, fuck, I forgot that was a real card. Uh, Wicked Witch, uh, Splash Mammoth. I haven't gotten any of the, like, I haven't gotten a straw man or a, uh, put the wrong cards in the wrong damn pile. Haven't uh, gotten a straw man or a uh, dark destroyer yet. Was there a super rare in this one? Oh, I don't remember. What was in this one? Straw man. Oh, yeah, there's a, a dog fighter. Isn't there a dog fighter? There's a super rare in here, I think. I always ran one dogfighter. I didn't always, but I did when it came out. A Splash Mammoth, a Majestic Tornado Ultra Rare. There we go. Checking it out. Bumbuko doing some damage. Should be one win, cat, one win spellcaster type monster in the entire one monster opponent controls. Banish it, not once per turn. Activate all three if you can. All right, is that looking good, folks? I got a hot mess brewing right there. Just serving up the hot mess. I got two ultimates, two secrets, and they're both the same. Both painful choices. Uh, Burfomet. The pink Ignite. I kind of like pink, the color. Like, it looks good on some things. Like, when guys have pink sleeves on their deck... Like, it looks kind of cool. It really stands out. Uh, Wild Vulture. Second donkey, because the first donkey wasn't enough. Uh, um, you know, you always need that second donkey. What about a Swamp Donkey? We need Swamp Donkeys, because we got Swamp King. Uh, Soul Claw. We got another Burfomet. Yeah, I haven't gotten... Uh, a high rarity uh, Cosmo card yet, which there's three of. Um, remember, in this set, a super rare is considered high rarity. <laughs> this was the last set to be this way, by the way. I don't know if I said it already. Skilled Red Magician. Um, after this, Breaker Shadows came out, and now we have what we have now. Every single pack is a super rare, but we have no ultimates or ghosts, which I was most upset about the ultimates going. I love ultimate rares, it's my favorite rarity. Um, a second donkey, but, um, you know, the ghosts are neat, but I never play with ghosts just because, I don't know, they just look a little cheesy, like, they look great in a binder, they look absolutely phenomenal, you have entire, like, pages of ghosts, but playing with them, I don't know, I've never liked it, uh, what we got here, Wave King Caesar, a little bit of a lull here. Haven't gotten any higher rarity cards. Still working on this. Ugh, my pile just fell, but I, I contained the pile. Uh, Gradle Slime. Remember in, in the future set he gets shot in the head? What one is that? Does anyone remember what the hell the Gradle card is where he's getting shot in the head? There's like Gradle Jr. and stuff. Alright, this box is not behaving like... Uh, All right, kind of fixed, immediately not fixed. Well, I guess that's all right. Ugh, man, opening 100 packs is rough. I would have been entire cases in one day. Uh, giant pearfish. 
What's the Synchro Monster back here? Oh, Despot Jet. I was like, what is the common Synchro Monster in this set? Forgot. Despot Jet. I play against many Despots, and I don't think I've ever lost to one. It's been close. Been close, but I've never lost to one. I'm sure I'll... Majesty's Pegasus, their uh, field spell for made gestures. Interestingly enough, this card could not be added off any of the damn Mage Specters because it's not a Mage Specter, it's Majesty's Pegasus. Like, what? All Mage Specter monsters in the field gain 300 attack and defense. You contribute one wind spell cast type monster to someone, one level 4 lower Mage Specter monster from your deck. You can only use this effect of Majesty's Pegasus once per turn. I miss when field spells gave attack boosts and everything. <laughs> like, every field spell used to do it. Like, like... You know, it, well, not everyone, but but a lot of them did. You know, they were, like, specific to that archetype. They always gave them some sort of attack boost. It was neat. Like, Dark World gets gates, but it affects all fiends. Sphere Karibo. Getting a lot of Frankenderps now. Being overwhelmed by the Frankenderp. Woo! I think I'm going a little faster than last time. I'm trying. Another Radiant, nice. A Raiden. Is that Radiant or Raiden? I think it's Radiant. Radian. Hell, I don't know. I'm just guessing here. Open pack! God damn. Alright, let's see here. Uh Help Princess. Get this some random stuff. Give me a second here. I gotta. Uh, gotta take a look at something here. Uh, all these text messages. Alright. There we go. Girlfriend let me know about some somewhat important... You hear the door bust open. That's hopefully not a home intruder or a hungry bear. That's hopefully my girlfriend coming through. She had to go get one of another animal come to my house. A rabbit this time. It's going to be out in the woodshed because rabbits like woods. Yes, I have a woodshed. Yes, there's wood in there. No, I do not use it to make meth. Why would you use a woodshed to make meth? Uh, anything to get that meth, I guess. Uh, pendulum area. So, I have not gotten a ghost. I did not get a ghost out of the last 100-pack box. But I only got one ultimate. So, this one I've got two. And I've only got two secrets, which are the same. Uh, another Gamma Seal. Full playset. Nice. Really enjoying that. A full playset of the original print Gamma Seal. I've got like seven or eight like super rare Gamma Seals. I don't know how I got so many. I should get rid of some of those. Gamma Seal's a secret now? I haven't even seen the secret rare Gamma Seal. Uh, another Gamma Seal, back-to-back -back Gamma Seals in the house with the Gamma Seals. Okay, I'm gonna make a second pile here. The next one, next... A gamma Seal's not a high rarity, but it's Gamma Seal. I mean, it's still used today. I still run Gamma Seal on my side deck. Because you can't use Sphere Mode on decks that don't have a huge field of monsters. You gotta attribute three, so Gamma Seal works better for like a deck that's just gonna summon a uh, Crystal Wing or something like that. You know, uh, that's that's the one that I, uh, not Crystal Wing, but you know, whatever. Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon, a Boral Load, you know, a Boral Sort now. They can get rid of any of those monsters. Just tribute, it cannot get rid of the Darkest Diablos. That kind of sucks. Uh, another Kieran. Oh, and there it is, a Cosmo Straw Man. Finally, I get a Cosmo High Rarity card. There we go. A straw man. He's pretty gangly and gross looking. But anyways, there's Farm Girl's Leg, for those of you who like women's legs. Uh, during either player's turn, you can banish this card. Special summon one level three or higher Cosmo monster from your hand. You can only use the effect of Cosmo Straw Man once per turn. Once per turn, you can fire life once and target one of your banished Cosmo monster. Special summon, but its effects are negated. Also destroyed during the end phase. Fucking broken. So fucking broken. It's so good. It's so good, guys. Straw Man. Just going crazy. Uh, Wave King High Caesar. Oh, I got the final. I got the Evening Twilight. That's its name. I couldn't remember it. The light one. 
Well, it's not light. It's still dark, but it's a, a lighter color. A Blacklist Soldier Monster Ritual Summon using this card gains these effects. You can only use this effect to Evening Twilight Night once per turn. Once per turn, you can draw one monster your opponent controls. Banish it. Once per turn, you can banish one random card from your opponent's hand face down until the opponent's en next end phase. If this card is banished, from your graveyard, you can add one ritual monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use the effect of Evening Twilight Night once per turn. So I would assume if you use both of these guys to make the BLS Super Soldier, you can banish two monsters. That's pretty nuts. <laughs> but no wonder that guy kept running. He's like, fuck yeah, banish two monsters on the field. It does target, right? I just read the thing. Yeah, it does target. All right. Man, I get a lot of pendulum areas. No one ever played Fry for March. Just rip them up if you get them. I will be ripping them up after I finish this video. No, I'm not. I don't I don't ever destroy cards like that. Not usually. Once in a while, I'll accidentally destroy one, like a common something. Like, I found a common, like, completely folded in half in one of my boxes. I'm like, whoops. I don't remember what it was. Something bad. A second donkey and another Nico Mata. That's a Mage Spectre cat. Look at his face. He's like... All serious and shit. He's like, I'm ready. Looks like a Son of the Hedgehog character. That's what all these Mage Spectre monsters look like. When this card is normal or special summon, you can add one Mage Spectre card from your deck to your hand during the end phase of this turn. You can only use the effect of Mage Spectre Cat Nikomata once per turn. It cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effects. That's why Cosmojo's good. <laughs> hey, Cosmojo that Karen. Cosmojo does not target, and it does not destroy. Non-targeting banish effect is really fucking good. I don't know what the hell happened there, but thank you. I really enjoyed that card back in the day. Raid Force, Auto Ice Fusion, Secret Rare, third Secret Rare of the box. It's an interesting one. This card was really expensive for a long time, too. It came out, like, cheap, I think, and then I don't know what happened, but people needed it, and it became super expensive for a while. And I never saw anyone use this. I didn't know what was going on. Okay, it looks cool, though. That's, that's a neat background. Fusion summon one Dragon-type fusion monster from your extra deck. Fusion monsters from your hand or your side of the field as fusion materials. If your opponent controls two or more monsters and you control no monsters, you can also use up to two odd eyes monsters from your extra deck as fusion materials. You can only activate one odd eyes fusion per turn. So you can fuse this to make any... Uh, I, I didn't know that. I thought it was only like extra deck monsters to fuse... Well, that makes well. They're all extra deck, but I thought they were like pendulum monsters, stuff like that. But no, but it could be used for any dragon. So maybe that's what was going on. Maybe we were using blue eyes for some hell. I don't know. I don't remember. Um, obviously, vortex dragon would be good. Uh, Calvary Reptier, close to Reptar. Remember that Reptar from Rugrats? I barely do. Reptar. He's supposed to be like a cheap knockoff of Godzilla. Remember the Reptar, uh, what's the thing they use? The Reptar, um, baby carriage. Toon Barrel Dragon. Can't believe Barrel Dragon got support from Bandit Keith. It makes sense, it was Bandit Keith's boss, boss monster. I mean, some would argue that Jackpot or Slot Machine monster is, but I'm going with Barrel Dragon. Uh, Grail Cobra, Soul Claw, another Toon Barrel Dragon, because you gotta get two of them in a row. You just, you got it, guys. You got to get that barrel dragon. Do a barrel dragon, not a barrel roll. Yeah. All right. Got Kunai the Drizzle. The Drizzle. I haven't heard that word in a while. It's drizzling out there. Like, what? What's going on? Is it safe to go outside? Drizzling sounds... I don't know what's going on out there. Let me look through this window. Oh, God damn it, someone planted this window black. Who does these things? Alright, Samurai Thief. I got a Splash Mammoth. <laughs> Old Splash Mammoth. Man, they must have been high as hell making some of these cars over in Japan. They're like, oh, just good marijuana. Uh, split, maybe on acid. That makes more sense. Sphere Karibo. On some PCP. My god, on PCP designing Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Holy shit, that would be intense. <laughs> That's so funny to think of. This Japanese guy getting high as hell off PCP. 
Uh, having a good trip, too. Not one of those bad, scary trips, but a good-ass trip. Another Majesty's Pegasus. This looks like kind of like a Sky Striker card. <laughs> I don't know why, but it looks like Sky Striker before Sky Striker. All right, all Mage Specter monsters in the field gain 300 attack and defense. You can contribute one win spellcaster type monster. Special summon one level four or lower Mage Specter monster from your deck. You can only use this effect on Mage Majesty's Pegasus once per almost called Mage Specter Pegasus. But see, it confuses even the main man. Oh my God. I'm trying to get it so you guys can see a little bit of a recap. How many Gamma Seals are in this pile? We got about there, four? Four Gamma Seals, looking good. Skilled Red Magician. I actually see people play that card when this card was new. Because uh, it works good with Infernoids. They're not Infernoids. Uh... What is the one? The, the one where you need to have no cards in hand to use their spell and traps. I don't remember. I'm dumb. Radian. God, it's Rad Ryan's favorite deck of all time. I don't remember. I'm, I'm so sorry, Ryan, if you're watching this video. I, I apologize. <sighs> Infernity! There we go. Infernity. I got it. Uh, veteran, Wild Vulture, Spear Creeble, Legendary Fisherman 3. <laughs> I, did, I completely forgot this was in here. But it is. Legendary Fisherman 2 is way after me. Legendary Fisherman and then Legendary Fisherman 3. We're like, where the hell's 2? Oh, man. All right. Meku Tsunami the third. Okay. It cannot be normal summoned or set. It must be supposed to summon by, from your hand by attributing one the Legendary Fisherman and cannot be special summoned by other ways. When this card is special summoned, you can banish all monsters your opponent controls. Also, this card cannot attack this turn. Jesus Christ. Cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Also unaffected by spell or trap. Holy fuck. Once per turn, you can return as many of your opponent's banished cards as possible to the graveyard. And if you do, the first battle or effect damage your opponent takes this turn becomes doubled. God damn. It's just so hard to summon, but it's so good. When you read all those effects, like, holy shit. That's insane. Banish all monsters your opponent controls? But it can't attack, right? At 2,500 attack, that'd be pretty rough if you could attack. Oh, man. Uh, Kunai the Drizzle. Oh, yeah, it's Kunai. I forgot. Yeah, it's like Kunai with Chain. So that's Kunai with Drizzle. The old Drizzly out there. Better get your small duck umbrella. <laughs> you ever see those umbrellas? People walk around, they got like duck handles. Like the shape of the, of the, uh, the handles, like a duck head. It's kind of funny. Uh, Splash Mammoth. Man, these fluffle wings were like three bucks for a while there. Like, I remember in the locals, they had a little cup with fluffle wings in there. And it was like, pretty soon it became a fluffle grab bag. Like, they just shoved all their fluffle shit in there. I think Fright for Sabertooth's in here, isn't it? But yeah, it was just a massive, like, fluffle bin. May Specter Cat Nikotama, or Michikomata, whatever the hell it is. The whole playset set of them. Let's read the kitty again. The serious, serious cat. Why so serious, Nikomata? That joke's so old. Fuck, I'm tired of that joke. It's been like 10 years. When this card is normal, a special summon, you can add one Mage Specter card from your deck to your hand during the end phase of this turn. You can only use this effect of Mage Specter Cat Nikomata once per turn. It cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Woo! So far, three secret rares. No ghosts, two ultimates. One ultimate's really sick. The other one is pretty lame. Now, it was good back when it first came out. I liked it. Gradle Slime. Gradle Impact. Uh, remember Street Fighter 3? Its first expansion, the second version of it, was called uh, Second Impact. Uh, in, in Japan, I want to say it was called Giant Impact. The second one didn't have that many characters from what I remember. I think it added, like, Akuma, Hugo... I, I don't remember. I know it added Hugo uh, and Akuma, but may have added someone else, too. And then Third Strike, they went crazy and added, like, five, I think. Chun-Li, Makoto, Remy, Q, and 12. God damn, I get them all? Wow, I think I did. Uh, Super Soldier Soul, another Sphere Karibo. Gradle Parasite, second Gradle Parasite in the house. Living it up. Gradle Parasite. 
All right, when an opponent's monster declares a direct attack, you can special summon one Gradle monster from your deck in attack position. If you control no monsters and a Gradle monster you control declares a direct attack, you can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard. Special summon that target to their side of the field if they control no monsters. You can only use this, each effect of Gradle Parasite once per turn. All right. I've played against Gradles. I have played against Gradles, and it's very frustrating. Uh, very difficult deck to run against if they open up good. Uh, I guess that's true for any deck. Swamp King, Kyubi, uh, Raid Force. Basically, they keep stealing your monsters. They're like Snatch Steals. It's pretty weird. Yeah, yeah, they're like Snatch Steals. So they equip the Gradle monster to the opponent's monster and steal it. It's pretty weird. Wild Vulture... We got a Fiend Eagle and another Vector Pendulum, the Draco Overlord. All right. Let's read this bad boy. Negate all card effects in your opponent's Pendulum Zones. Not bad. Flavor time. This Overlord overran the entire world with his army of Draco Fiends using his Dragon Alchemy to convert all life into his terrible minions. The source of this power is unidentified and probably extra-dimensional, but not interplanetary <laughs> oh my god you ever guys ever watch that ancient alien show like I, I i can barely watch that shit like i turn it on it's like they have like 24 hour marathon every friday on history channel i can just barely watch like 10 minutes like oh, i can't take this anymore because they blame everything on aliens they're like how did this man move this rock it's like he had nothing better to do. He was It was like 200 BC. He's like, fuck, I gotta move this rock out of here. So he moved it. it took him like a year, but he got out of there. He's slowly rolling it on like rollers. Which, by the way, rollers still work. It's ancient technology, but I recommend if you gotta move something hella heavy, just get some pipe, put it on the pipe, push it over the pipe, it'll roll with the pipe, and you take out the last pipe that just came out underneath the heavy object, and put it in front of the heavy object, and you keep rolling. It takes a while, but it can be done. I've rolled heavy-ass things, like 35 feet in like an hour, using roller pipes. Uh, this Ragnarok got the Great Old Gator. Great Old Gator. Later Gator. I remember they said in Dragon Ball Super for uh, Grand Zeno's like guards. They're like, Later Gator. I'm like, what? Did they say that in Japan? I think they did say something funny in Japan. Like, something like that. Uh, Fiend Eagle, Yada. That's funny. It's Crow Yada, like Yada Garasu. It kind of looks like Yada. It's really interesting. There's the Legacy Yada Garasu trap card where you draw a card, but if you're if if there's a Spirit Monster on the field, you draw two cards instead. So with a Spirit Monster it becomes a Pot of Greed, which it's pretty rare to do. I mean, it's not that hard. I remember people doing it. Cosmo Dogfire. There we go. Just looking for the Dark Destroyer now. But yeah, um, you got a Garasu uh, Legacy, uh, draw two cards with the Spirit Monster. Once per turn, during the standby phase, that's each player's standby phase, you can special summon one Dogfighter token, Machine Type, Dark, Level 6, Attack 2000, Defense 2400. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard, special summon one Level 5 or lower Cosmo Monster from your deck. This card's pretty fun in Cosmo right now if it survives, because you can start using those tokens as link material. You know, so that's pretty cool. I wonder if anyone's done that. I mean, Cosmo doesn't have a Link monster. I wish they would. I don't know what you'd do with it, because they don't really need extra deck. But it would be cool to see a, a Link monster for Cosmos, since Burning Abyss got one. Uh, Kieran. And a ultra-rare version of Mad Jester Paladin, the Ascending Draco Slayer. Alright, let me take a, take a gander at the Ascending Draco Slayer. Uh, when this card is XYZ summoned, you can add one Pendulum Monster from your deck to your hand during the end phase of this turn. Once per turn, you can detach one XYZ material from this card. to will summon one face-up Draco Slayer Pendulum Monster from your extra deck, but it cannot be used as an XYZ material for a summon. Which means you'll just use it for a fusion or synchro summon. Because I remember all that nonsense. Because, what's its name? Ignister could bring some out, but it couldn't be used... For a synchro summon, so they just use it for overlay. Yay! Uh, Raiden. Oh, and another even Twilight Knight. That's neat. Go ahead and read this little guy again. A Black Luster Soldier Monster Ritual Summon using this card gains these effects. You can only use this effect 
of Evening Twilight Night once per turn. Once per turn, you can target one monster your opponent controls. Banish it. Once per turn, you can banish one random card from your opponent's hand face down until your opponent's next end phase. That's actually pretty good. This card is a banish from your graveyard. You can add one ritual monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use the effect of Evening Twilight Night once per turn. I love those little guys. I don't know why, but I look at them and I just chuckle. Just let a little chuckle. <laughs> and, uh... They were like the, they were on a, the, the regional map, weren't they? Yeah, yeah, they were. It had the Super Soldier and then both the little guys. All right. Help Princess. The Help Princess. Oh, we have to dig these all out pretty soon. Just throw this box on the damn ground. All right, what do we got here? Uh, second Donkey. Uh, first aid squad. Don't know what that does. Don't care what it does either. Because that is a bad card. Whatever it is, it's got to be terrible. Uh, Super Soldier Ritual. That's the first one of these I've gotten. Oh, and a painful escape. This was a TCG exclusive here. Pretty bad. Go ahead and read it. That's not the secret I'm looking for, folks. Just to let you know. That is not the one that I'm like fiending for. Tribute one monster, add one monster with the same original type, attribute, and level, but with a different original name from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Like, what the fuck? That's so bad. <laughs> it's so bad, folks. Just do not ever play that card. Alright. <clears throat> Painful Escape. It's almost as bad as Super Team Buddy Force Unite. I don't know why the TCG loves the fucking, um... Ojamas for their exclusives. Charging Guy of the Fierce Knight. Ultra rare. All right. Let's take a look at Charging Guy of the Fierce Knight. He's he's pissed. He's moving. He's he's got to get there. Uh, you can normal summon this card without tributing. If this card is normal summon without tributing, the original type becomes 1900. This card is tributing. You can add one Black Luster Soldier monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect of Charging Guy of the Fierce Knight once per turn. And he requires two tributes? Two, four, six. Yeah, he requires two, so my god. <laughs> Probably just normal summon. I think that was the. Because he stay Yeah, yeah, he stays that level. He stays a seven. So they just need the Spear Karibo, I think. That's what's the deal with that. So, so yeah, that's right. That's how they were doing it. Okay, I remember now. Uh, Help Princess. Where's Scarlight? Where's Cosmo Dark Destroyer? Those are the two cards I want the most out of this. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Dark Destroyer, obviously, because that card won me a lot of games, folks. A lot of games. Another Kieran. Dark Contract with the Witch. Wow, four trap cards in that pack. That's And there was one other trap at the beginning of the pack. It's a lot of traps. Altergeist. It's whatever. Chain Burn. Chain Strike is limited now. Uh, Soul Claw. Skilled Red Magician. Oh, DD Wave King, Oblivion King, Caesar Ragnarok. I butchered that name. My God. Let's read this hefty fusion monster. All right, here we go. Two DDD monsters. Once per turn, when an uh, attack is declared involving this card, you can target one other DD or Dark Contract card you control. Return it to the hand, and if you do, equip one face-up monster opponent controls of this card, except the battling monster. This card gains an attack equal to the combined original attack of the monster equipped to it by this effect. Interesting. Uh, was it ever played? I've never seen it played. So, no. I, I, I don't know. I don't remember ever running into that monster. I remember most of the DDD Fusion and XYZ monsters and even Synchro monsters, but I don't remember that one. I mean, I remember it, but I don't remember being played. Uh, Wade King High Caesar. I guess that's just regular Caesar. I got Frankenderp there. That's, that's good. Getting down there. How many packs have I got left? How many secrets have I pulled? Four? Two ultimates? Uh, Gradle Slime. Tempest. The old slimy Gradle. That's such a cool art type, really. What do you think? It's like alien invaders, and they're like, like, like body snatchers or that movie Species. Have you guys ever seen Species? That's a creepy ass fucking movie. Another Mage Specter Cat Nico Tama. Is that three? I mean, is that four? That might be four. It just, it just the cats are breeding. We need to get them spayed and neutered like Bob Barker wants. All right. When this card is normal or special summon, you can add one Mage Specter card from your deck 
to your hand during the end phase of this turn. You can only use this effect of Mace Specter Cat Nico Mata once per turn. Cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effects. 100 attack. Please put that in defense mode. Alright, still got some packs left in here. It's like a never-ending box. I mean, it really is. I mean, you keep reaching in there and you're like, God damn. This thing's deep. Uh, giant Pearfish. What is that card off of it? King or Fish or something? I can't remember. They had a card that was similar to that a long, <laughs> a long time ago, and I actually remember people playing it. Like, for no damn reason. King of the Eels or something. Uh, Shuffle Reborn. Skilled Red Magician. Uh, every pack is guaranteed to contain at least two Great Old Monsters and two Mage Spectre Monsters. I haven't gotten Bambuco either. Which is, even though he's worthless, I still want to pull him just so I can laugh and look at his face. Uh, contract Change, Gradle Cobra, Super Soldier Ritual. Getting all these various cards here. Yeah, we're getting down there. I think I'm down to like seven packs. I've been hustling. I've been rip-roaring and all that stuff. Got a burf of it there. Gradle Eagle. Ah. Yeah, I think there's like five packs left in there. Can I pull a destroyer? That's what I want to see. Uh, Raiden. Maybe I'm out. Maybe I don't have any high rarity cards left. I could have pulled them all already because this is just random. Yeah, I'm down to like four packs. This is the final four here, folks. One more secret or ghost, please. Destroyer or Scarlight. Uh, help, Princess. Another Gateway to Chaos. Okay, that's the best super in the set. I'll take it. What we got here? Gateway to Chaos. When this card is activated, add one Black Luster Soldier Ritual Monster or one Guy the Fierce Knight Monster from your deck to your hand. Each time a monster card is sent from hand or field to the graveyard, place one spell counter on this card for each of the cards. Max six. Once per turn, you can remove three spell counters from this card. Add one ritual spell card from your deck to your hand. You can only activate one ritual or one gateway to chaos per turn. Nobody used it for that except for the Blackluster Soldier guy in Seattle because we just used it for set rotation. I always thought that was better because people were starting to side in uh, when they were using the uh, uh, Zephra uh, one. They were people were starting to side in Zephra monsters. <laughs> Great old slime. Okay, another super rare. You got DDD Duo Don King Kali Yuga. Go ahead and read this guy. See, I remember this one being played. I remember people summoning this against me. Uh, all this after <laughs> after this card X Y Z summon for the rest of this turn. Other cards and their effects cannot be activated on the field, and other card effects on the field are negated. Once per turn during either player's turn, you can detach one X Y Z material from this card. Destroy all spell and trap cards on the field. You can detach one X Y Z material from this card. Then target one dark contract spell or trap card in the graveyard. Set that target. Which, if it's a, a spell, you can activate it that turn, you know. So that's, that's why people like that effect. You can't activate the trap, but you can activate the spells. Because I don't think they have any quick play ones. They're all continuous, right? Contract change. Uh, we got a Gradle Slime here. And a Painful Escape. Another Painful Escape? Goddamn. Getting all the Painful cards. Got Painful Decision and Painful Escape. All right, tribute one monster. Add one monster with the same original type attribute and level with a different original name from your deck or graveyard to your hand. I guess this can work with ABC. I mean, I guess. That's the only deck I can think of. Uh, Burning Abyss. Good in those decks, but I've never seen it played in those. All right, this is the last pack. Number 100. Here we go. Can I pull a Scarlet or Dark Destroyer? Wild Vulture. Capture Mission. Here's a Splash Mammoth. What's hiding behind you? Oh, and a DDD Rebel King Leonidas. Well, my last pack's there. I've got supers or supers and a secret. DDD King Rebel King Leonidas. He boots someone into a pit and yells, this is Sparta. When you take effect damage step during the damage step, you can destroy this card, and if you do any effect that would inflict damage to a player this turn increases their life points by the same amount instead. I like how it's comma, instead. <laughs> 
When you take effect damage, except during the damage step, you can special summon this card from your hand, and if you do gain life points equal to the damage you take, you take no effect damage. This card was played. I remember when DDDs first came out, this card was kind of like a Gores almost. Not as good as Gores, obviously, because Gores was a terror. Alright, folks. Box is empty. We came, we saw, we kicked its ass. Um, you know, I actually got one of the cards I wanted. I wanted to get an Ultimate Rare Black Luster Soldier Super Soldier. That's one of my favorite cards in the set. It's because I think it looks really good as an Ultimate. It's, it's one of those cards where it's not great. It's not super valuable. It's one of the cards that stick out to you. You know, everyone's got a card like that in the set that, you know, especially back in the day when they had Ultimate Rares, where you'd see an Ultimate Rare or something, and you would be like, oh my god, that looks cool. Like, Another one for me, and it's totally worthless, nobody uses it even in the deck it's supposed to be for, is Fright for Bear. Fright for Bear was an ultimate rare, and I laughed so hard they picked that to be an ultimate rare that I, I, I secretly love that as an ultimate rare, and it's one I like to pull out of whatever set that is. Is that New Challengers? I think it is. Somewhere along those lines. Good old New Challengers. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching this long ass video. It's another hour long installment of Lucky Lance drinking beer, talking nonsense, yelling, barking, and woofing. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you like what you saw, go give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you really want to show him us you like, hit that subscribe button. Because and then if you really, I mean really enjoyed what I got for you, go hit that bell icon. You know, for whom the bell tolls, I'll notify that you. No, immediately I've uploaded some quality content, and you will be like, God damn, I'm so excited for this. Let me uh, hold my beer. Well, actually pick up that beer and get to drinking, unless you're driving or need to drive or run a machine or drive a boat or anything like that. You know, we don't need drunk driving. We just need good old sitting back in a chair, bullshit and drinking. Drinking and stinking. That's what I call it. Drinking and stinking. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it, man. These op opening these 100 pack boxes. Woo! Takes a toll on an old bird like me, even though I'm not that old, I'm only 29. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you waited all the way through and didn't skip through, congratulations, I'm proud of you, and uh, if I could, I'd, I'd, I'd pat you on the back. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in a couple days. I got more shit coming. Hope you're ready. I got extra stuff coming, even, and... Well, maybe not, because I don't know what order I'm going to upload these, but just be prepared, because you might see some extra videos you normally don't see on this here channel. All right, thank you kindly for watching. Catch you guys in a couple days. Peace!